Dallas Love Field is located just a few miles northwest of downtown Dallas, Texas. It has a distinguished aviation history. It was commissioned in 1917 as a training base during World War I. The airport is named for Army Lieutenant Moss Lee Love, who died during flight training in California. It was busy until the opening of Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. An amendment to the International Air Transportation Act of 1979, called the Wright Amendment, restricted Love Field's passenger operations to destinations in Texas and neighboring states. The restrictions were gradually lifted until the law was repealed in its entirety in 2014. Today, passenger aircraft fly to destinations all over the country. Love Field has two runways and is the headquarters for Southwest Airlines. It serves 44,000 passengers every day and more than 16 million passengers per year. Annual takeoffs and landings at Love Field are about 230,000 annually. It also brings in customers from every corner of the world on its reputation for high-quality maintenance and aircraft finishing services. Those services mean that Love Field is a busy corporate and general aviation airport that brings jobs to the community. So how does air traffic move into and out of Love Field? The Federal Aviation Administration oversees a safe and efficient movement of aircraft throughout the national airspace system, including Love Field. The FAA continually updates and modernizes its services to improve how pilots and air traffic controllers see, navigate, and communicate with each other. First, let's look at how airplanes fly. Aircraft take off and land into the wind. The runways at Love Field were built to take advantage of the prevailing winds in the area. The wind patterns mean that in the summer, aircraft often take off to the south, and in the winter, aircraft more often take off to the north. However, these patterns can change depending upon weather, traffic volume, and runway repair or construction. Even though a runway is a single strip of pavement, it's treated as two separate surfaces. Runways are identified by the compass heading the aircraft is facing as it lands or takes off. For example, at Dallas Love Field, you will see runway 13, which is facing 130 degrees, and on the reverse, runway 31, which is 310 degrees. Parallel runways are further designated with L for left or R for right. At Love Field, that translates into runway 13 right, 31 left, and runway 13 left, 31 right. Runways are continually monitored as part of the overall safety program. When a runway closes for repair or reconstruction, air traffic controllers will temporarily reroute traffic in order to use the remaining runway in a safe and efficient manner. Communities are notified through the environmental process or additional outreach, such as a notification done for the runway 13 right 31 left reconstruction. At Love Field, construction will shift traffic to the other runway. With some limitations, the airport is able to handle that traffic on a single runway. In fact, Dallas Love Field is now known as one of the busiest single runway airports in the nation, just after San Diego. Love Field will return to two runways in early 2022 when construction is completed. The runway work will enable the airport to run efficiently for the next several years. Modern technology is bringing many improvements to Dallas Love Field. The airport's close proximity to Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport creates busy and congested airspace. In fact, the routes in the sky can be as congested as a rush hour freeway. This means that air traffic routes are carefully choreographed, with each aircraft movement being determined by the flow of traffic around it. Together, air traffic controllers and modern satellite technology ensure that every flight into and out of the Dallas-Fort Worth metropolitan area is guided safely to its destination. In 2019, Love Field's air traffic procedures were updated to take advantage of modern satellite technology, enabling pilots to use satellite navigation as opposed to relying solely on ground-based navigation aids.
These new procedures create more predictable routes, enabling pilots to pass specific points in space at exact intervals, keeping traffic safely separated in three-dimensional space. Satellite-based procedures also reduce the amount of spoken communications needed between pilots and controllers, allowing for an increased focus on aircraft positioning and performance. The airspace is used more efficiently, reducing delays, and can increase airport access in all weather conditions. It also brings the airport up to date on the current procedures used at other airports nationwide, enabling traffic to move more efficiently between departure and arrival points. This is important in an area like Dallas, where Love Field's takeoffs and landings have to work closely with the runways at Dallas Fort Worth International Airport as well as other airports in the area. One of the new procedures is called Optimized Profile Descent, or OPD. It enables an aircraft to descend on a continuous vertical path instead of the traditional procedure, which required the pilot to level off, slow, and descend in intervals. OPDs eliminate the slowing and powering up motions. Love Field will continue to bring more jobs and businesses to the community it serves. It's important to note that decisions about where airplanes fly are complex, involve three-dimensional airspace, and can impact operations at other airports as well as other communities. The FAA's mission is to provide the most efficient airspace system in the world, but to do so in the safest manner, recognizing the needs of all parties in the system. Would you like to learn more about airspace and modernization at Dallas Love Field? Please continue to follow our website for more information.